How's it going, YouTube? I'm Walker. Welcome back to Amnesia The Dark Descent. Last we left off, we were getting to the inner sanctum after using our acid to get rid of the fleshy fleshy on the wall. We're just gonna jump right into it. I don't really remember what else we were doing. All right. I'm not mentally prepared to... Two seconds in, I get flashbang. It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Gosh dang it, Daniel. Always screwing up. I forgot I played this with controller. What am I doing? Whatever. This one's not going to be a controller episode, I guess. Okay. When enemies... There's no enemies near. There's no enemies near. I got like a bozo over there. Oh, don't look at him. I don't know if I'm going to die. Okay. He's chilling. What was I saying? I don't remember. I just got interrupted. Go ahead. Is there a dude near me? Okay. Oh, I hate this. No, open. There we go. Okay. That's not a thing I can do. The controls are much weirder on mouse and keyboard. Oh no. I got a little bit of oil left. There we go. Okay. Don't do that. But yeah, I'm not mentally... June, 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? I'm not in the headspace to play a horror game right now. Not that I'm not in the headspace. I'm not, like, ready. I think my brain needs to swap into horror mode or something, but it might have to do that real fast. Oh, it moves. It's breathing. Lovely sound. Okay. It's blocked from the other side. Unlucky. Just back in the main room. Yes. Okay. I see you. Let me just... Let me just go. Oh, I'm gonna run out of oil real soon. Right? No. Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, that's wonderful. This is wonderful. Ow! Don't do that. Too heavy to lift by hand. But that giant boulder earlier wasn't. Get these out of here. Get these out of here. I'm just clogging the crank and pulley. What's clogging it? Are you clogging it? Can I rotate this? Let's see that. Give that to me. What if I light you? Can I put this off? What if I light you? It's gonna get real bright in here. Gimme, gimme. Okay. Yep. I don't need this. Cool. I can't pick you up. Box number one. Okay, give me more boxes. Box number two.
Thought I heard footsteps. Box number three. You have to go right there. Okay, and you can go right here. Yes. Don't make. See, now I'm. A I did it. Now that like there's actually bad guys walking around, now all the footsteps and stuff kind of scare me. Crank that. But what if I don't want to go down there? What if I didn't look over here? There was more stuff to look at. Okay. I really just want oil. Don't do that. You don't do that. 25th of June, 1839. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult. I have the feeling I'm about to die. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself. Like ice slowly melting over the I'm not ready. Century. I'm not ready. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Don't be behind me. Ugh. What broke? Did something not shatter? Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm gonna get a quick top off. And I'm just gonna, yeah. Because why would I not want to go deeper? <laughs> Stop being blurry. The cellar archives, here I come. He crashed through the surface. The dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. Was this water here before? How'd I open the door? No! Don't do that. I do where'd it go is it invisible or is it in the water I don't know what I'm just gonna do I need to be in here jump 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 I don't need that. I want oil. I'm just gonna... It's the Loch Ness Monster. He's here. What's this? A heavy gate. Okay. Let's see what I have to say about the heavy gate. The gate is too heavy. Yeah, that's what I'd assume. There must be an opening mechanism. Like a lever? Ow! 
barely conscious. I got you. How am I now? How about now? We're chilling. Boom, boom, boom. Run on the boxes. Run on the boxes. I'm a pro. Run. Go, go. The lever. Oh, do I have to go fast? Probably good. Ready? Steady. Mm. I hear the ticking. No! No! Get up there! I'm chilling, I'm chilling, I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. I don't know. Oh, there is a time limit. I hear the ticking. Let me on! There's another one. Oh. Dying? Did it eat? What's it prioritizing? There's a leg over there. Go get the leg. No, 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 no. Get the leg. There's a leg. Here, how about an arm? You want an arm? You can have the arm. It's easy. Go! 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 No, how about a torso? A whole torso. I'm Audi. Give me Audi. I want Audi. Did I close the door on it? What is this? A hollow needle. A strong surgical needle for stabbing things. Okay. With a simple lock. Well, where's my simple key? No way. Do I gotta go back out there? Dude, don't tell me. Can I not go through that? It's going through it. I don't see a key in here. <clears throat> I can't open the door, sir. You're blocking it. You're gonna have to break it open. You got to be doing a good job. Just keep breaking. Yeah, thank you. I think I somewhat screwed myself, actually, now that I think about it. Let me up! Oh, no. Let me up. Is there a... Wait, can I use this? Ow! It said a surgical needle. Whatever. That was intense. No, I don't want any more water. It's really red in here. How much oil do I have? Aww. No more. Yeah, you just you take your time. I'm going to take mine. Hey, 
it's catching up to me. Go! Anyways, how about that new Game of Thrones show, am I right? Okay. Oh, this place is pretty. I'm almost out of oil again. Oh, I still have my surgical needle. That's cool and all, but look at the pretty fountain. Oh! Oh, there's a face right there. I don't like that. That fountain's not so pretty as I thought it was. Okay. I'll go through the spooky hallway. How do I run again? Left trigger. There we go. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? An ascending room! Yes, the Colosseum, a regent's park as well. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Oh, it's a descending room. Can I descend? It's not working. That's unfortunate. No descending. Okay. Um, find a way to start the engine that powers the descending mechanism. Okay, the elevator. Sounds good. It's locked. Find a key that unlocks the door. Well, I actually have a, uh, a key myself. Cannot use that. Okay. This area looks cool. I like this. It feels more like a castle now than like a mansion, I guess. The studi. He tried to fit the pieces together, but like the sand dunes, they shifted when you weren't looking. Okay, now see, this is why it feels like a mansion. Oh, it's scary in here. It wasn't scary in that room. I feel like I should be using these tinder boxes. I have 23 of them. Yeah. I'm gonna save some oil and just try and tinder it up. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Tinder it up. Just gonna tinder it up in here. The Holy Bible. Is this a paper? Letter regarding the discovery of an orb. Uh. That's so long. We're not reading that. Okay. Let us continue. Yes. No, let me... I want... No, I want the oil. Let me get the... I got the oil. Okay, animal experiment. Um, okay. Who are you? It's probably Alexander, to be honest. Uh, further disappointment. Okay, I'm assuming this is about their animal stuff. Yo, what's this dude looking at me like that for? Ah! Those skulls are huge. Okay. Well. That was fun. 
anything useful in here? Let's see what you have to offer. Ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. Interesting. I'm gonna just leave that room now. Tinder. Yeah, something tells me I'm not going this way. Well, was this area useless? This is the study, right? There is nothing here. Right behind the skulls. Was fun while it lasted, but I'm out of here. Back to the fun room. And you can still hear the screams of the dogs that were once in there. The guest room. One guest room in the whole castle. And everything just fell right there. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Oh, this is my room. There's a lot of blood in my room. Uh, I don't like it when they put places to hide in places. See the Krober. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Poor Herbert. Okay, if I pick up that crowbar, am I gonna die? I'm gonna just, like, prepare. Yeah. Oh, no. I already- I feel it. I know what's happening. I'm gonna pick up the crowbar. A monster's gonna come through that door. I'm gonna have to hide. The monster's gonna leave, I can now go through that door. I thought I had it all figured out, I'm gonna be honest. I guess I could use the crowbar on the door. That'd be a lot easier. I had it all figured out, it made sense. I was so close. I was so, <laughs> so close. I was ready. I was so ready. How long do I hide for? There's a paper I want to read. Okay. Thank you. 3rd of July, 1839. 
Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Huh. Huh, I wonder. Okay. That's at 203. Is there another paper in here? I see you. I see you. Oh, there it is. 4th of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Immaculate. Okay. Well, that was fun. Any more oil I missed? Nope. I'll be on my way then. What did I get in there? Do I keep my crowbar? No. What was the point of going in there? An important key is hidden in the guest room. That's good to know. Okay. Probably behind a painting. Probably behind this one. one for sure no didn't think so it had no thought of that okay i'm stuck give me unstuck there we go any fun books oh it's behind this one for sure it's in here wasn't in there okay um just gonna tear this room apart has to be in here it's in this drawer no it's in this one I actually meant to pull the bottom one. Hold on. See? Okay. It must be behind this shirt. No. Okay. Um, well, it's hidden really well. It must. This must be a lever. No. Um, this must be behind this painting. Ah, oh, see? I knew it. Oh, First God, try. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Okay. I know where that is. I know where the machine room is. I'm so smart. Onward. I wonder at the end of this grand quest I'll get the orb. 
and it'll be magnificent. Key, use, go. Machine room. Alright. I wonder what the machine is. Probably the descension device. There's a lot of pipes in here. On the 5th of July, 1839. Haunted. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last Not night. Will Smith! Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Okay. He was my favorite character. What are you? Ah, a puzzle. Ah. Stop. Be happy, Daniel. Just be happy. Imagine being scared of the dark, Daniel. You disappoint me. All right. Don't make creepy sounds. I guess we'll go downstairs. All the answers lie below. Every single one. Is this another puzzle? Are you serious? 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, Dr. and Tate. hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. <laughs> I know a special Dr. Tate. Who's currently banned, haha. <laughs> Got him. Okay. There are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack. Uh, now I need to go to the inner study. Question mark. Do I need you? <laughs> That'll do it. Let us go further. It's mighty dark in here. I know what can fix that. Tinder, Tinder, Tinder. That's better. Okay. Now wait a minute. I see you. I know ex 
exactly where you go. Yep, right there. Alright. Go get my other gear. Yep, just gonna toss that down there. Work smarter, not harder. Go, 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 go. Stop it with the noises, they're unnecessary. Alright. Watch this. BAM! Yeah, oh, I almost had it. It'll work on this one. BAM! Ah, see? Literally LeBron James. Literally. Literally. Ah, I'm so good. What? But I got all the wheels. Oh, gosh. Let's go. Do I need to shovel some coal? It's not working. Um, what's the point of this room? Do I need to go to the inner study? Is that what you're telling me? There's no oil left in the barrel. Oh my gosh. What is this? I do need coal. Can I use that? I can't use that shovel. Can I just pick up coal? Oh, that makes it easy. Go! Aha! More coal! Get in there. More. I need more. This is, this is it. Five pieces of coal. No more. No less. Three pieces of coal. No more. No less. All right. I'm ready. Boom. I've done it. What is, what is it all for? What does it mean? I turn this now. Oh, no. What are you powering? You're powering this, which is powering this. Oh. Boy, do I love puzzles. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, head split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Dr. Tate! No! How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Um... Daniel, we have no time for Dr. Tate, okay? We need to fix this machine. Now think. What do we need to do? Um... Um... Gosh. Find a way that doesn't help. There are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms. Okay. Do I need to go do that? I don't want to leave this area. Can I turn this off? That's a lot of coal. Things powering it. Can't interact with that. Those three pipes go into the wall. This won't go. I wonder. 
if I'm missing. This seems like a problem for future Walker. Thank you all so much for watching. If you watched this point, I appreciate it. Kennedy, I know that's you. Madeline, I know that's you. I love you guys. But you're going to have to wait for part three. And I may or may not look up the answer to this outrageous problem. I probably won't. So we'll figure it out next time. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a good day. See you later. Oh, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. It's easy. And if you have subscribed, do it again just for fun. Bye.